Continuing our coverage of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, there's a push from some women in Pueblo to create a domestic violence offenders registry, just like we have for sex offenders. News 5's Natalie Chuck continuing our coverage, breaking down the new petition drive by a group in Pueblo. Natalie. Rob, the group wants a way to hold abusers accountable in the public eye and hopefully prevent people from entering abusive relationships before it's too late to protect themselves. We were having a, a candlelit vigil for both Grace and Nicole mm -hmm. the week that they passed away. Gabrielle Scooball lost her best friend, Nicole Stevenson. There's a few things that really stand out to me um, from the day that I took her to the police station. She was beaten head to toe. Um, she had bald spots on her head where her hair had been ripped out. Um, she had bruises everywhere. After multiple instances of domestic violence, one eventually took Stevenson's life. If she had known that this is the kind of monster she was dealing with, there's a huge chance she wouldn't have gotten this far into the relationship. So to prevent someone else from going through that is super important to me. Which is why Scooball and others have created a petition for a domestic violence offenders registry. Abusers with three or more charges or any charges resulting in death would be required to register their names if found guilty. The benefits would be that if somebody were dangerous, there's a chance that you could find their name on that list and you can stay away from them. The idea is similar to the sex offender registry. When they sign up, they have to get their fingerprints done, uh, fill out some contact information, you know, where they live, contact numbers, where they work. But the Pueblo Police Department says with any change comes a cost. In theory, it's just, uh, oh, you just put them on the website. Well, who's going to take their picture? Who's going to fill out the paperwork? So there's going to be a lot of time intensive, manpower intensive things to get it to off the ground. But above all, Scooball and the petition supporters want to help protect future victims and remind everyone that ending domestic violence. We should be doing something so that this is less of an issue, not just having an awareness month. Is a year round fight. Right now, the petition has just over 9,600 signatures on it, but they're hoping their goal of 10,000 is enough to get the attention of Governor Jared Polis. Reporting in Pueblo, Natalie Chuck, News 5.